Powerwall 3 versus Enphase 5P, who offers the better warranty and a more reliable design? A home battery is a pretty big investment, right? So naturally you wanna know it's gonna last and that the company stands behind it. That brings us to warranty and reliability. Tesla Powerwall 3. Tesla backs the Powerwall 3 with a solid 10-year warranty. Within that decade, they guarantee the battery will hold on to at least 70% of its original 13.5 kilowatt hours capacity. This warranty usually covers unlimited cycles to meet that retention promise, which is good peace of mind. Now, a key thing for reliability and longevity, especially in places with temperature swings, is how the battery manages heat. The Powerwall 3 uses a sophisticated liquid cooling and heating system, often called thermal management. This actively keeps the battery cells in their happy temperature zone. Why does that matter? It can lead to better performance and a longer life for the battery, particularly if you live somewhere with really hot summers or chilly winters. And of course, Tesla has a significant presence and a lot of experience in the battery world. Enphase YQ Battery 5 P. Enphase steps up with an impressive 15-year limited warranty for their IQ Battery 5P. That's an extra five years, which is definitely noteworthy. Their warranty typically ensures the battery will retain at least 60% of its initial capacity after those 15 years, or 6,000 full charge discharge cycles. They also specify a maximum annual degradation rate, which is around 2.67%, giving you a good idea of its long-term performance. A big difference here is the battery chemistry. The Enphase 5P uses lithium iron phosphate, or LFP batteries. LFP is really well regarded in the industry for its long cycle life, its inherent safety, and its excellent thermal stability. For cooling, it uses a passive system, basically natural airflow, no fans or liquid pumps. This can mean quieter operation and fewer moving parts that could potentially cause issues down the line. Plus, remember that distributed architecture with micro inverters in each battery? That adds another layer of reliability. If one of those tiny inverters has a hiccup, the rest of the system can keep on track.